as I found out uh, on the ferry ride over here, um, the frustration turned to um, energy and turned to um, that, that, that helpful attitude that, that I think New Yorkers that really live here know we have. In the immediate area, they need less supplies and they need manpower to help them move things, okay? Farther in, they need more supplies, which you'll be able to get over there. Especially cleaning supplies. The marathon is our marathon, but more importantly, this is our city. I was slated to run the New York City Marathon this year to represent Staten Island in the Five Borough Foot Locker Challenge. But uh, I decided on Friday afternoon at about 2 o'clock in the afternoon that even though the marathon was still slated to go on, that I wasn't going to do it because Friday I came down here for the first time. And when I saw the devastation down here and the mayor was thinking about keeping the marathon on and the New York Road Runners Club actually said it will go on, I decided that coming down here and seeing what's going on wasn't the right thing to do. I got two friends down here, um, one on Millbank that lost their house and then one right here on Roma Avenue, houses are wiped out. So we're just cleaning stuff out and doing whatever we can do. You got a whole bunch of gloves. 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 Water though, yeah. Thank you. Gloves. Gloves, water. 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 Okay. training with team and training. Uh, on Staten Island and in parts of New York City since last spring, um, as long ago as April or May, and was gearing up to run today. But I encourage anybody who's in the area to just take a walk around. It really puts things in perspective. Uh, these people lost everything. We've been running really anything that we can carry, uh, water, supplies, uh, clothes, food, gloves, masks, uh, into the homes and, and into the neighborhoods. Uh, and I have to tell you, as somebody that was going to run the marathon, I had some pause, wa wondering if people were going to start throwing tomatoes at us. Uh, but the outpouring of appreciation uh, and really sympathy for the marathon runners, um, it's truly, truly special. And I think everyone needs to come here, if not here in Staten Island, to another area that was impacted and just get out and, and try to help. My, my father is 77 years old, and this is where him and my mom live. Uh, I waited probably about four days before I brought them in because it was just it was heart wrenching. I spoke to a marathon runner today that came up to my six year old boy. He said to me, he said, you know, we didn't want the marathon to go on. They train all year round. They didn't want the marathon to go on. They came down here to help us out. The outpouring of love is, is really what's going to heal our broken hearts.